Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arcanum. This is Girdle RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today as we talk to William Thorndop, I believe is his name. He's here in the outskirts of Ashbury, and he was once the master of gunslinging. And we, oh no, don't, don't send the camera over there. And we, well, we just found that he cut off his fingers so he can't shoot anymore. It's gonna be a little bit tricky learning from him, but, um, um, yeah. Your order seems quite harsh. I'm sorry that you are disturbed by my actions. Please be at peace. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do here, but the game is kind of pushing me in a specific direction. Your order's fanaticism is a disgrace to all races. We realize that all beings will not become as enlightened as we. It is beyond the understanding of many. I shall pray that your eyes will be opened to the truth. Yeah, because he was talking about, uh, about how his order is just all about peace, and then they cut off his fingers with a not-too-sharp knife. They might as well cut it with a plank of wood. Are you... Are you calling me stupid? I think we're supposed to, to make him betray, betray his vows, maybe. I never meant to offend you. I am merely attempting to explain how you lack the understanding to grasp the higher meanings of our order. Yeah. Yeah, you're calling me stupid. That's it. Time to die, enlightened one. Hey, I don't understand why we're attacking such a decent type. Well, I'm not. I won't do this for much longer. Well, why are you naked, Virgil? What have you done in there? What is going on? This is not okay. Let's reload. <laughs> We're not gonna waste that, that, that monster. I have no idea how to. I don't think I've ever done this. Uh, well, I've never played a gunslinger, so I definitely haven't done this. Uh, but I don't think I've ever. Yeah, of course I haven't. Because the the there's one master quest for each skill. So there's eight ma master quests, and in a normal playthrough, you're probably gonna get two of them, or one, or none, if you're like me. Uh, so let's see. Let's ask him his name. Uh, say order. What order? Tell me more, peaceful group, gave penance, what happened. Um, so yeah, I think it all started when I, uh, I started this uh, line of... Okay, I don't know why I... That is the case over there. Oh, I was over encumbered. I don't know why he's naked, but... Oh no, he's not naked. He's not naked, he's got the barbarian armor. That's right, that's pretty good. Looks dazzling on you, Virgil. Um... Yeah, I think it all started when I said this. How did you ever manage to do that to yourself? And they were... And he goes back to that line. Okay. Uh, your order seems... Let's go with this one. I can see how your pain would be necessary. I'm pleased with your understanding. One cannot gain atonement without suffering. It has been a small price to pay for the peace I now have in my life. Uh, yeah, the Halcyon order sounds most interesting. Let's go with that. Oh, I think, I think we're going the right direction. Perhaps you would be interested in learning more about our order. If so, you should visit the monastery of Voridon. No, wait a minute. Vuriden. Vuriden. I... Sure. Uh, you will find it most enlightening. Yeah, uh, well, yeah... I, I, I just might do that. Can I ask you something else? So, might we trade? I fear since talking, taking my vows, my vows that I lack in worldly possessions. I have nothing to sell. Uh, well, okay. Uh, uh, you appear religious, but not binary. I am a member of the Alcyon Order. We are peaceful, non-violent -vi -vi sect. Uh, can you tell me more? So he goes back to that, because we asked that already. Give penance. So you guys... Oh, he goes back to this one. Okay. Uh, would be necessary. Sounds quite interesting. Uh, can you train me? That w But I wish to become a master. Let's go with that. You can still train me. As you can plainly see, he says, it is not even possible for me to train you in firearms usage. Once again, he displays his mutilated hands so that you may see their damage. Um, don't you think that was a bit extreme? Hi. Help me! Help me! What? I got 400 bullets, it's fine, but... What, what, what do you want? Help! Help, William! You've got to help me! Without a comb after, William. Yeah, sure. Calm down, man. What, what seems to be the trouble? It's my wife. They've taken her. Oh, it's a... Uh, I always think it's a kid. It's not. Uh, he sobs. Please. You must save her. Um, who, who has her? Where? The Willenbecker gang. 
he directed towards Thorndrop. Oh no, he's t talking to Thorndrop now. They've found you, Willem. Who? Who's found him? What are you going on about? Here, they gave me a letter to deliver wi to William. And he again talks to him. You must save her. Let's see that letter. Did I get the letter? Yes, I did. Thorndop, I have reached for... Uh, no, wait a minute. I've searched for to locate you, coward. Now is it time to pay for your evil deeds. You took the life of my brother. I shall take yours. Come to the old barn outside of town. The time of your atonement has come. If you choose to ignore me, the woman dies. From Jessup Willenbecker. This Jessup sounds like a terrible person. I'm happy to see you again. No, I'm no, you're not. Hey, man, do you know what, about all this? Oh, it's just, just all about that whole science piece. All science piece to you, brother. I greet you in goodness. Uh, well, listen to this, Thorn Drop. I'm gonna leave the, read the letter. No! What are we to do? Edward Willenbecker and his gang are one of the toughest groups of gunfighters that have ever existed! Oh my god! Well, am I, how, is that really the line right there? He's... <laughs> Nobody would say that! <laughs> Certainly not somebody in this situation. <laughs> that is such a... That is such an exposition, uh, expositional sort of raising the stakes line right there. It's like, oh no, we're uh, facing against all odds. What is this? Late game content? Uh, but it is. Uh, what do you want? Uh, what do they want with you? I was drunk, he says. His brother, Daryl, came sauntering up to me and challenged me to a shootout. He was so cocky and full of himself, he even went so far as to drop, uh, to throw a drink in my face. This all, all sounds very innuendo. Anyway, that did it. I was so angry, I just whipped out my pistol. You see? And uh, shot him down where he stood. Hmm. Well, that last part wasn't wasn't as innuendo we, but this is that that was. I. This is. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't by mis. I'm I'm not that dirty of a mind. I don't have no. I'm not that guy. I just I. I can see the things, and I'm pretty sure this was on purpose. Um. So Okay, I think we're... I didn't save, so, uh... Let's try to ha just go... I mean, we want something from him, so let's be uh, hypocritical. Um, but, uh... But, yeah, I probably would have done the same thing. Poor kid never had a chance. He looks tormented. The worst part was when I sobered up, I discovered he was just a kid. Guess he thought... Oh, okay, so that that is bad, man. That, forget the innuendo there. Uh, guess he just thought he'd make himself a name by ta taking me out. Probably figured it'd be easy... An easy target, drunk. What a fool. Uh, well... Yeah. You've been running from Edward ever since? No, I had no idea they were looking for me. I couldn't leave with myself after Daryl's death. I became tormented and tortured. More drunk, more violent with each passing day. That's quite an achievement. You get more drunk with each passing day? Oh no, maybe. Just, you know. More violent, in particular. Uh, I can't understand how that would affect you. Affect you. Affect you. It's an A, not an E. Anyway, the brothers of the Halcyon Order found me passed out in front of their monastery. They took me in, sobered me up, and showed me the true path to redemption and peace. I guess Willem Becker didn't think to look for me in a monastery. Well, I guess that wouldn't be the first place they would check. But what am I going to do? Willem Becker will never feel satisfied just killing me now. His revenge won't be slated. He'll kill Mrs. Roland for sure. Wait a minute. What? Oh no! Yeah, okay. I was gonna ask, who's this Mrs. Roland now? Uh, yeah, it's the it's, the, it's his his wife. I forgot about that. Um, I could save her. You? <laughs> well, you're a firearms expert, are you not? You might be able to beat them. I'm I'm not sure though. They're a tough group. Would you? You would have to kill all of them for each end. A look of horror spreads across his face as he realizes what he just said. No, that's beautiful. Killing all the main the mean people? Well. I can kind of understand what they're... I mean... I, yeah... They have a hostage. It's gonna be interesting. Mm. I will do it. But you must agree to train me if I succeed. No! He must have agreed to train me before I succeed! But anyway... Yeah, training? I can't even hold a weapon. Nor am I allowed to assist violence. Who said violence? This is the, 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 the thing that they do in the Olympic Games. Do they do that in the Olympic Games? Do they have that those nice looking sniper weird things that shoot a thing I don't know I don't know these things uh, then I guess mr. Roland will die one more for your conscience no please he appears to think that uh, to think for a moment 
looking extremely tormented. I cannot have the death of another on my hands. I just could not bear it. Please, I, I need your help. Okay. Um, if you agree to train me... No, let's go with this one. Let's be sympathetic. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but I must insist on training. His dilemma is appearing in, his, in the panic of his face. But my vows, he says. Uh, <laughs> what a bunch of crap. Um, let's see. Are your vows worth more than her innocent life? I will agree to your terms. He appears broken. A tear rolls down his cheek. Oh, he's crying! A single tear, though. That, that's... That that takes... I, I, I... Yeah. Good. Good for you. Go. go. Save her. If you succeed, I will train... Oh, no, you're not even going to train me now? You crazy fanatic. Uh, yeah, I'll shall return so shortly. Okay, so now... I'm going to save. And I imagine Mrs. Uh, Wallace, or whatever her name is, is this way. Because we've been here before... And there was nobody in there. Or maybe there was somebody that just said, Piss off. Oh no. This sounds interesting. What is going on? Oh, they're fighting her. Are they really kicking her? Nobody. Oh no, they are. They, they really are. Are they killing pigs? They killed her already. She's still up. She's still alive. How healthy can she be? Halfling village. Villager. Okay. She's gorgeous. That's, that's all I need, really. Uh, this is gonna be really bad because I can't throw so That's Edward over there 68 screw that noise. Oh No, I killed her. I damaged her. It, oh, no mm. That wasn't too bad all things considered because you know my guys were quite fast and uh, quite, quite, they, they were doing things. Okay, the problem here is that I have uh, crap on my inventory and I can't run too fast. I don't think they start combat if I don't move in, though. But uh, let's send sure, them in. Sure, sure. Go, 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 go. Right away. Like, seriously, just get in there. Yes. Okay, I don't even see them. There they are. Seriously, I don't see them. It's, it's tricky to fight without seeing. Oh, my God. Okay. No. There it is. Okay. Hi. Um, probably should shoot you. Yes. They're shooting me. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, that armor. That armor is quite something. Oh, no. Dog is going in. Is she still alive? Oh, no. Of course she's not. Oh, that's terrible. How am I even going to save her? I mean, I'm going to try. Maybe I should keep... There it is. So they're in combat now. Yeah. Sure. I'll do it Going right there. away. Oh, they're so fast. Yeah, they're not shooting at me. Okay. Now, she's still alive. But that... Brute. I need to get back there. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Okay. How do I do this? Can I shoot him? I can, 59. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. That's what you get. Yeah, there you go. Huh. So. How will I do this? I need a rifle. I need something with range, which of course I'm not gonna be able to get. Because I don't have it. Okay, so it's where I am and not where the camera is that matters, that triggers these guys. Uh, of course, this also might be harder to do. Okay, sure. Get in there, I'll do guys. It right away. Might be harder to do because of. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Okay, they're shooting at Virgil. They're actually shooting at Jaina. Okay, he's coming. Um, okay, 99. Ooh, she, she's a lot. Oh my god, how did she survive? Okay, um, can I save the game midway through things? Um, episode 40, which is not this episode, I realize, but I don't have a save for the previous one. Okay, um, uh, okay, so that guy seems really pissed. All of them seem really pissed. Uh, who's that guy over there? Why are you over there? Don't be. 
What? No. Okay, well. One shot. Virgil is. That armor is the best. No, that's not Virgil. That was Magnus. Or is that Jaina? That's Jaina. Okay, that's not too bad. Dog is gonna finish. Dog is gonna have a field day, really. Okay, let's go. Okay. Grenades would be so nice. Was that a critical miss? I think that might have been a critical miss. Okay. Okay, um, that worked well. Because, yeah, that worked really well. Okay, so now you need to die. Lovely. Is this gonna work? Oh yeah, th this is gonna work. Uh, this guy needs to go because he's doing quite a lot of damage with his uh, strength bonus and... I don't know what that is, smoke grenade, I suppose. Critically missed, I think. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. Dog is gonna just pull, bring, bring up the rear, carry the team. Nice shot. Uh, is there anybody else? I had to move for that. I think dog is gonna kill. Yeah! 79. Oh, yeah! Holy balls! Yeah, waste your. Yeah, you waste that. You waste that true and proper right there. Is she alright? Miss? That was, she had a thunderous voice. Uh, thank you for saving me, she said. Oh my god, do you guys have a hunting rifle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you, a what? No, I don't want to equip that. What? Did I drop it? Oh no, I put, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, put it over there. What? No, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, she had many things. Things, oh well, we have a hunting rifle now. Uh, and of course I'm over encumbered. Are you kidding me? And an officer uniform? That means I can wear things that are nice? Oh no, I can. I definitely can wear things. Oh my god, this place is full of stuff. Okay, uh, I'm really over encumbered. Is there any looting spot? No? Well, let's all put it in Edward Becker's place. <sighs> oh, oh my god! What if, what have we gotten ourselves? That armor was so good that we got. Okay, get all of that in there. Just all. All of it. I don't want to hear about none of that. Just right click there, put it over there. I don't, I freaking don't understand this. Maybe it's like, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I can't do it in this screen or something. Yeah, I can. It's just the game being a jerk. Oh, she's off. Oh, she's off. Oh my god. Okay, so we have a Clarington rifle. This isn't very good, actually. In I mean, we had amazing weaponry. So you get that. I'm, I'm gonna take care of this off camera, don't worry. A machined plate mail. A fine helmet. And boots and all that. Because the helmet is good because we can carry it. Do you... Can you carry this? No. Can you sort this? No. Okay. The helmet, uh, the helmet, no, not the boots, uh, not the helmet, the boots and the gloves are good because we can use them ourselves, which is really nice. Uh, and that's why I was, uh, excited for that. I, I think excited might be an understatement there. I, I might have sounded a little bit too m more than ex- how do you get, like... Is the sword... What is that? I don't get it. I don't understand what this is. Oh boy, it, yeah, it doesn't sort the, uh, doesn't sort that. Okay, so put those things in there. Let's see what else we have. What else we have? Nothing over there. We got two people over here. Uh, with a simple sword. That's nice thing. 
Thank you. There's another person. Oh, lovely. Molotov cocktail and an explosive grenade. It's a good thing you didn't throw that. Okay. Oh, and uh, a shotgun. I'm sure I'm going to need that for many... Th oh, my God. A m m machined hammer. Oh, this was the, the big guy. And a leather studded... Just... The amount of stuff we have just gotten, guys, is... Uh, Unlike, well, we never did get anything like this, did we? Uh, let's see if I... No, doggy. Just stay where you are. Okay. Go over there. Sure. I'll do it right it's away. It's this guy. It's this guy that has all my stuff. Okay, can I put the boots in there? Yes, I can. And put the sword in there. No, I can't. That's not a big surprise, actually. Uh, almost could, but there's no space. Doesn't matter. I'm still over encumbered. Let's just see. I'll... I'll it, yeah, just put this over here. So I can just keep two bodies. I don't think we're going to be able to train. As I said, we are going to need... I think we're going to need master... We can't be masters unless we have all the skills. Uh, so I think we're going to need a little bit more... Oh my god, something terrible happened to the, the ogre when, when I did that. Um, okay, so save the game. Reload the game just to make sure all the things are in there. In the bodies. Make sure I have the correct uh, save. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'll come back off camera and get all that stuff. In the meantime, let's just finish the quest. Hey, miss, miss, thank you for saving me. Yes. Okay. So I say finish the quest, but really at this point it's, uh, it's, um, uh, get him to accept to train me. If I'm lucky, he trains me as a, uh, he trains me to be a master immediately, but, uh, yeah, that might not be a thing. Wild Science Peace. Yes. Um, I have destroyed the Willenbecker gang. I had faith you, faith you could do it. And Mrs. Roland, she's returned safely? Yes. She ran for home the moment the fighting ended. Not really quite like that, but yes. Thank you for your assistance. I will be tormented with the deaths that occurred today. Oh yeah, I will rejoice in your torment. I am sorry to have caused you to commit such violence. Um, well, I'm sorry that you must suffer, but I will like my training now, please? Training. I would hope you would change your mind. I'm going to change your face if you don't train me. Is there nothing else you would have in exchange? Uh, nope. I, um, I, I really want to be a, a master at firearms. Oh, show me your weapon. Aim it at that tree over there. And he studies your stance, grip, and aim, making your corrections and giving you several pieces of advice. Now we will hit your target no matter your distance from it. Our bargain is complete. You are a firearms master. <laughs> I am the firearms master, mister. <laughs> uh, Forgive me for forcing you to break your vows. Now leave me, he says. I must return to the Order and atone for what has happened to me. Yeah, make sure to cut the rest of your fingers. Uh, you did nothing wrong. You should not need a ton a ton atonement. But off he goes, I guess. Oh! How am I... Oh, I... I, I, I yeah, I, I was going to ask. How am I uh, capable of running? I was capable of running already. That was how it went. Uh, so let's look at our items once more. And we are now the master. That's actually... Keep, a tra keep track of this. There we go. Uh, load five boulders. Yeah, that's going to be sort of possible, I suppose. Did we actually level up? No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, our strength. I could, excuse the hiccup, uh, bring up my strength a little bit. That's also a possibility. And uh, this, or that's always a possibility. And these guys, they're going to help me a lot in, in offloading a lot of the crap over here. And uh, just taking care of them. So, let's look at the items. We got ourselves a quality broadsword. Not a big deal. The hunting rifle. I mean, bear in mind that a lot of these items, if not all of these items, would be the items I would be using. Uh, if I didn't, if I hadn't still stolen the weapon I have right now. Uh, so, yeah. That, that And also, if I, uh, apparently, if I had, an, uh, that guy also has a very interesting weapon. If you can steal it from, from him. So, I, it, I can't steal it from him anymore because he's gone. Or it should be gone in a little bit. So let's see, we have a hunting rifle over here. The range is really what... No, it isn't. Look at that. A Clarington rifle. It's basically the same thing. Except this one is a little bit... It's got a, a different range. But it does the same average damage. Uh, then we have the metal boots and all that. That's what we saw before. And then we have these things. So, yeah. I'll, I These weapons are going to be very good to sell. And then we have a machine plate mail. Which is actually really good. Armor class of 30. That's going to make... Jaina, very powerful. And a large studded leather over here, which is also pretty decent. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't use it. A machined hammer. I'm pretty sure it's not better than the, the sword that uh, that we're using. Uh, so there we go. Explosive grenades. You know what I should do? I should make more... Let me see your things. 
I should make more uh, Molotov cocktails. I think I think learning to throw might be a very very good investment. But uh, I just I don't know if I want to spend it there. I don't know when I'm where I'm gonna need my skills. They're very limited. Maximum level is like 50, but it's the skill points are limited. If I want to pursue certain avenues, so I'm sort of hanging on to them. Uh, what? Okay, okay. With this, we're gonna be able to make more Molotov cocktails. Uh, I think I need that herbology fuel. Mm. Molotov cocktail. There it is. There we go. Okay, pretty good. And now, with these babies, put them over there. Look at that. My inventory is looking clean. No, it's not. It's it's looking terrible. Um, and one another thing that I can do, and I didn't do off camera actually, is uh, see what sort of things my friends can make. Because she's a high, considerably higher level. She can make the fatigue restore, the poison cure. I have the venom already. Uh, so actually, she should have the venom already. Right? Jaina. Let's trade some things. I didn't give you the venom. I did. Did I not? Apparently I didn't. Where did I put it? Oh. I... must have been drunk. Did you drink it? She doesn't have the venom. It looks a little bit like that. And it might be on my inventory. Or in my inventory. It is not. I can't see it. So I have no idea where, they ha where the venom is. Okay. Well, I either reloaded a previous save or something. I just don't know. She drank it, for all I know. Unless... Yeah, she doesn't have it. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. Moving on. I'll worry about that later. It's not really a big deal. She can make a fatigue limiter. Tired of running out of energy just before a crucial battle? Mmm, that's actually gonna be quite good. Put your worries behind you once and for all by combining the Invigorating Fatigue Restorer and Witch Bane. You can, uh, you, one can create an unrivaled serum to expend energy more efficiently. You'll serve the killing blow with a, as much ease as your first strike. Uh, so I think that basically, that's not really important for me, but for a really drawn out battle, it's gonna add because I think that what that means is that we can uh, we can uh, use extra action points for free. So let's see what else she has. She has nothing else. Oh no, she has elixir of persuasion, elixir of physical prowess, uh, bodily strength. Oh yeah, we're spirit of camphor. We're probably gonna need that. And liquid of awareness. Uh, um, ever been caught in particularly nasty dungeon? And your torch torch goes out. What to do? Now, with a liquid of awareness made from migraine cure and doodlittles or doodlittles uh, glycerin, you never need worry again. Just one dose of this elixir, and you'll have the increased visual acuity necessary to get your to get you through those sticky situations. I wonder if we can use that to level up um, our our thing. Unless, yeah, I'm now a master, so I, I need I need that. I need perception, I need 18. But I'm a master now, so that's great. Uh, so that's How her ab you? abilities. What about you, Marcus? Oh, Magnus, not Marcus. Magnus, you can only make smithy. No, you can make these things. High gear. Yeah, I have no idea. Got pure ore, balanced sword, featherweight uh, ooh, gauntlet. Oh. We have these things. Hmm. I'm gonna look into that. And, uh... What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. What is it that you want of me? You can't make anything, can you? That's quite a shame. Huh. Well, there we go. That's that's Virgil. He's he's okay. He's looking he's looking dapper sure. in his semi right nature, sort of. Not really. I don't really like the the brown loincloths. Although it might be more a, a matter of convenience than anything else. But anyway, that's gonna be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Arcanum. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.